In mathematics, Minkowski's theorem is the statement that any convex set in R n which is symmetric with respect to the origin and which has volume greater than 2 n display style 2 caret n contains a non zero integer point the theorem was proved by hermann minkowski in 1889 and became the foundation of the branch of number theory called the geometry of numbers it can be extended from the integers to any lattice l display style l and to any symmetric convex set with volume greater than 2 n d l display style 2 caret n d l where d l display style d l denotes the covolume of the lattice the absolute value of the determinant of any of its bases Topic. Formulation Suppose that L is a lattice of determinant D L in the n-dimensional real vector space N and S is a convex subset of N that is symmetric with respect to the origin, meaning that if X is in S then minus X is also in S. Minkowski's theorem states that if the volume of S is strictly greater than 2 N D L, then S must contain at least one lattice point other than the origin, since the set S is symmetric, it would then contain a at least three lattice points, the origin zero and a pair of points plus or minus x, where x element of L zero. Topic <laughs> example. The simplest example of a lattice is the integer lattice n of all points with integer coefficients. Its determinant is one. For n equals 2 the theorem claims that a convex figure in the euclidean plane symmetric about the origin and with area greater than 4 encloses at least one lattice point in addition to the origin the area bound is sharp if s is the interior of the square with vertices plus or minus 1 plus or minus 1 then s is symmetric and convex and has area 4 but the only lattice point it contains is the origin this example, showing that the bound of the theorem is sharp, generalizes to hypercubes in every dimension n. Equals. Topic proof. Topic. The following argument proves Minkowski's theorem for the specific case of L. 2. It can be generalized to arbitrary lattices in arbitrary dimensions. Consider the map F S R 2 2 L X Y X mod 2 Y mod 2 display style f s 2 math b r caret 2 2 l q quad x y mapsto x b m o d 2 y b m o d 2 intuitively this map cuts the plane into two by two squares then stacks the squares on top of each other clearly f s has area less than or equal to 4 because this set lies within a 2 by 2 square assume for a contradiction that f could be injective which means the pieces of s cut out by the squares stack up in a non overlapping way because f is locally area preserving this non overlapping property would make it area preserving for all of s so the area of f s would be the same as that of s which is greater than 4 
That is not the case, so the assumption must be false. F is not injective, meaning that there exist at least two distinct points P1, P2 in S that are mapped by F to the same point, FP1 equals FP2. Because of the way F was defined, the only way that f p one can equal f p two is for p two to equal p one plus two i two j for some integers i and j, not both zero. That is, the coordinates of the two points differ by two even integers. Since S is symmetric about the origin, minus P1 is also a point in S. Since S is convex, the line segment between minus P1 and P2 lies entirely in S, and in particular the midpoint of that segment lies in S. In other words, 1 2 minus P1 plus P 2 equals 1 2 minus p 1 plus p 1 plus 2 i 2 j equals i j Display style tfrac one two left p underscore one plus p underscore two right equals tfrac one two left p underscore one plus p underscore one plus two i two j right equals i j is a point in S, but this point i j is an integer point and is not the origin since i and j are not both zero. Therefore, S contains a non-zero integer point. Topic: Applications. An application of this theorem is the result that every class in the ideal class group of a number field K contains an integral ideal of norm not exceeding a certain bound, depending on K, called Minkowski's bound. The finiteness of the class number of an algebraic number field follows immediately. Minkowski's theorem is also useful to prove Lagrange's four-square theorem, which states that every natural number can be written as the sum of the squares of four natural numbers. See also Pick's theorem Dirichlet's unit theorem Minkowski's second theorem